A warm welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, have you ever watched a pet commercial or a film like 101 Dalmatians and wondered where they find all those animals and how they keep them under control? Well, we decided to take a sneak peek into the life of an animal actor. Take a look. Internationally recognized animal behaviorist Jet Shaw has worked with animals on feature films as well as television series and she currently trains animals for Union Pictures in South Africa. I've been a wild animal and domestic trainer for about 22 years. My love for cats started about, again, 22 years ago. Um, I got involved training big cats tigers and lions and leopards and then through that experience I've been able to use those sort of behavioral techniques and use them for little cats so they're all about the same there's really no difference maybe just bigger teeth and bigger claws <laughs> if you use the same techniques for all animals and you give them a foundation of behaviors and it's food reward and positive reinforcement normally you can get a cat to do anything that you want for the film We Bought a Zoo starring Matt Damon, Jet worked with Katie the Tiger who had an important subplot in the film and therefore had to spend a lot of time in front of the camera. A big ask for a big cat. A day on set for a cat actor or any animal for that matter can be quite hectic. They have to be at the same call time that the crew does. So oftentimes we have a call time at 3 or 4 a.m., maybe 7 a.m. Um, and then what we try to do is we make sure that the action for the animals is sort of split up because they, don't, they can't work 10 hours like humans can. So we often make sure that the animals have breaks and it can be a long day. Sometimes it's multiple days. Sometimes there's action, sometimes there's not action. Most of the time for a cat actor, they want them lounging around, purring or interacting with kids. Um, not often is there a lot of outdoor racing around. Um, it can be a little scary for cats sometimes, so you have to have a very professional animal that's got a lot of experience to do that kind of stuff. Whether it's a domestic cat or a wild species, the animal's health and safety is the top priority in environments where they risk exposure to parasites. Most of the time when we have to work animals, um, especially little animals, um, cats in particular, uh, when we have to work them outside, we really have to think about their health. And fleas and ticks sometimes play a big part, especially in Africa, as we all know. So we sometimes will use flea collars, we'll use a spot-on treatment, or sometimes a tablet. Um, it's very important that the animal is healthy before we take them on set and also is healthy after we bring them home. With good health and plenty of training, who knows, maybe your feline is destined for international stardom. Show them how much you love them with Bob Martin. Hello YouTubers, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we've got full episodes available for you. All those really cool interviews we've done, all the cool performances are right over there for you. So all you have to do is click subscribe. It's somewhere over here on this side of my face. Click it right now, do it.